guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a day to night tutorial. Now this tutorial is for all of us that have really long days and need to commit to makeup through the night. Now if you don't have time to do a whole new look, I'm going to show you how to use your daytime makeup into the night. Well hello! First things first, gotta get me hydrated and then I'm gonna jump right in to the eyeshadow look. Now I'm using the Stila's In The Light palette and I'm just using Bliss for my transition shade. Now as you can see, it's a matte kind of a muted down shade that it's just perfect for that crease color. I'm gonna go ahead and smother that all in and fall asleep obviously while doing that. Now you can see I'm going to go ahead and bust that onto my left eye and continue the blending process while quickly napping. Well now that we've laid down our crease shade, I'm going to go ahead and put sunset all over my lid. Now this color is a little bit deeper. It definitely has more browns in it, more copper, and it's shimmery. Unlike Bliss, that was the matte. So I'm just going ahead and putting that on my lid with a different brush, but placing that on there, nothing too precise, just getting it onto the lids, making sure it's separated from the crease. Now I'm going back into my crease with that original first shade Bliss and doing the exact same thing, just making sure there's no harsh edges, bringing in Sunset and Bliss together to make sure everything looks seamless. Of course, got to have me some H2O and back to blending. Now as you can see here, I'm go ahead and transitioning to another color. Now I'm using Luster. Now Luster's a lot deeper than Sunset. It's definitely on the cool side of the browns and it has not as much shimmer as the first one, but it's something, it's a pretty good V color that you can just go ahead and dump in there. Now it's not as dark as a black, but it's definitely a deep, deep brown. Now I'm just going and putting this on the outer V and well, I just can't stop drinking today now, can I? But just go ahead and tapping that out a little bit in the lid, a little bit in the crease and just blending that out. Now I'm doing the same thing to my left eye. It kind of looks like I'm falling asleep and trying not to long day. But I'm trying to make that cat eye more elongated. I usually go for a more round look and don't really take out the shadow to the sides. But this time since it's a day to night look, I'm trying to make it a little bit more smoky and blend everything out. Now with that same first brush that has no additional product, just a little bit of bliss still in there, I'm blending everything out. That's the trick. I keep going back to make sure everything's there. Now as you can see, now I'm going ahead and putting ebony, it's the darkest color in the palette, just a matte black all over the side corner of my V. Now you can see I'm just tapping it in, not really um, blending it because it's a really deep color, so I don't want to just get that everywhere. I'm just lightly tapping it onto the outer V, smushing it a little bit into the crease, making sure it's not too crazy. Well, since we're here, I just thought I'd share a quick fun fact that maybe some of you didn't know. Apparently, khakis are not good with black shoes. Someone really cool <laughs> told me that, and I had never heard of that before, so I thought I'd share it with all of you. <laughs> I'm just grabbing Kitten from the Stila palette. Everybody knows this shade. Everybody talks about it. It's well known. It's just a champagne, super, super shimmery um, highlight color. I'm grabbing it with the flat shader brush on my inner tear ducts and just kind of lining that through the middle, a little bit to the top, and connecting it through the bottom. You know, super simple stuff, but since it's such a dark look, you are going to want to grab a little bit of attention with the light. Now, I'm placing that also on my brow bone just to make sure that we're evenly dispersed and you're having like a really dark crease and a really dark uh, outer V you do want to have a little bit of light in there as well now I'm blending everything out with the same brush no additional product just a little bit of bliss from previous in there just making sure there's no harsh lines because I laid down that brow bone you don't want to have um, you know any weird lines between the crease the brow bone and the lid now I'm lining my eyes with Almay liquid liner the typical black liner I didn't insert a clip of it because it's just a regular liquid liner. This felt tip liner makes everything super easy. Now the only thing different about this one versus the other looks I've done is that I'm doing a wing on this look. Now since it's a date night, dark, kind of at night deal, of course you're not going to want to just have that regular plain Jane everyday line. So I'm extending it out kind of where the eyeshadow would end. I hardly go all out on that wing, but I thought for this look, since I had a regular line in the day, I might as well go all out during the night. Mm -hmm. 
just checking that both of the wings are good to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and touch my waterline with, I believe this is the L'Oreal Silk Quaresme? I don't know. As you can see on my right eye, it's a lot deeper than the left eye. So this definitely is a nighttime look if you want to add waterline. Some people wear it all the time. I never wear black liner on my waterline. But as you can see, it makes the biggest difference difference now i'm going in with the jordana best lash extreme volumizing mascara i can never say that volumizing volum voluminizing but whatever mascara i'm just blinking into it um it kind of looks like it hurts here i promise it doesn't but since i already have eyeliner sorry since i already have mascara from the previous earlier in the day i'm just not doing too much to it i'm not going to curl my lashes that's just going to hurt if i were to curl them after i already have mascara so after that i'm going to just go ahead and bronze now i'm using the benefit hula bronzer now this shade is perfect for contouring because i already had a little bit of glow and bronze from the daytime so now i'm actually contouring this is just the elf contour brush i think it's called side angle brush contour brush i don't know just doing slight contouring, the nose, the cheeks, the forehead, and you're going to see me do my chin right now. Well, now that we're slightly contoured, blending is the next step. If you're going to take anything away from this video, make sure it's blending. That's key to making everything look flawless. Now, after this, I'm going to grab a little bit of Benefit's Dandelion Blush. I wanted to go for something more pale to not take away from the thick, you know, deep, dark eyes. Same thing for the lips. I'm also grabbing Revlon's Pink Pout Matte Lipstick, something a little bit paler. It's a paley nude. I didn't want to take away from the, you know, deep eyes. So with that being said, this is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next ones. Bye!